my name is Ryan with Gilson Engineering. Today I'm standing in the Gilson Engineering Flow Lab. In one of our previous videos, we did a brief overview of the wide selection of instrumentation uh, displays and transmitters uh, that Signet has available. Uh, this is a follow-up video that's predominantly going to go over the programming and the initial setup and calibration of the 9900 electronics. Now, in a previous video, we went over how to wire up the unit. We're going to assume that that has already taken place. We're now going to get into the programming of the unit. So once you've wired it up, you apply power to the unit, this is what you're going to see on your display. It's going to say looking for sensor, sensor type. It has pre-selected flow for me. This is correct in that I have a flow meter wired in. If this is incorrect, you can use the up and down arrows, like so, to scroll through and select your appropriate sensor type. But flow is correct, so I'm going to acknowledge that. I'm going to say, yes, I want to go with the flow. It's confirming it. It says 9900 flow. OK. So unfortunately, it, it, I did try to reset this entire thing. I still have a little bit of holdover from a previous programming job. Um, this is user defined. But anyway, so what we're going to do is I'm going to hold this button down. All right three to five seconds. This brings you into the, the menu. All right. First thing we're going to do, we're going to do a calibration. All right. I want to go into calibration. I hit enter. I want to go down. K factor. This is the first thing I want to do. All right. I hit the over button. Ask me for my passcode. My passcode, the standard factory default passcode is up, 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 down. There we go. Now I can start adjusting this. Now, the K factor I'm looking for is 152. I'm going to use the up and down arrows to get me 1, 5, 2. Now, if you overshoot, just hit the down arrow. All right. Now, when you're doing this, take note of your decimal. Right now, I have the decimal selected. Okay. I can move this decimal to anywhere I want. This is indeed the, the correct spot. So now that I have my K factor entered in, I hit enter. It tells me saving. There we go. We have the K factor. This is set in. Now to back up, I'm going to simultaneously press both of the up and down arrow. Every time you do this, it backs up one menu. So I'm going to hit this, and we backed up one menu. I'm going to scroll over to loop, enter. I want to set my 4 to 20. I'm going to set my 4 to 20 for 0 to 15. Right now, 4 milliamp, factory default, 0 GPM. I agree with that. I'm not going to change it. I'm going to scroll down. 20 milliamp. I want my, 20, uh, I want my transmitter to output 20 milliamps when I hit 15 GPM. So I'm going to hit my over arrow, and I'm going to go 1. Now I've got to move this decimal. I'm going to move that decimal out of the way, right? I'm going to come by. All right, 5. Now I'm set for 15 for my 20. Enter. OK. This, at this point, you have done your basic setup. It should now read. It should now read properly and give you your desired outputs. There's a couple other niceties that you can then go into that a lot of people like to set. I'm going to show you those real quick. I'm going to back up both buttons. If I go over to options, hit enter. I can adjust the contrast here if I so desire. Backlight, I'm going to leave that on auto. Now, this is for the bar. This is for the bar graph. You see this bar graph here. This operates independently of the 4 to 20 milliamp output. What you put here does not affect it and vice versa. Okay, So I have this set for 0. All right, maximum bar, 24. That's where my set point is. Now, this will not peg until I hit 24 GPM. However, my 4 to 20 will still peg once I hit 15 GPM. That's how you set that. I'm going to hit back out on this. I'm going to go over one last time into input. Name. I can put in 
what I want. This is user definable, alphanumeric. You can name what this is. So this can be uh, X, Y, Z flow, input, output, whatever you want. You can enter in right here uh, to give you an indication. Once I'm done, I'm going to start hitting both of these buttons simultaneously until I back out to the main screen. At this point, unless we're getting into something fancy, our calibration is complete. If you have any other questions and you want to get more in depth with your calibration or your setup, you can always refer to the manual for the 9900 or you can call us at the number below. Thank you and have a good one.